Hi, good morning, and um, wherever you are in your now moment, my love and blessings. So the sun, the sun's really bright, which is lovely. I'm not complaining. I'm just, let's just feel that. Um, I should have been, should be doing other stuff, but guidance come through for a little soul message that I thought is important to share with something I was um, transitioning this full moon. Um, so excuse the wild hair because it was up from the shower. So I've just let it all down, letting my hair down, literally letting go, feeling a little bit of release. And um, just reminded, I saw a post um, and the word rest means restoration. Not to get angry with yourself if you're feeling tired at the moment. Definitely feeling this, felt this yesterday. I shared the recording in the Qigong in the mornings from the day before. Um, and then I did the recording later on. I needed that time, that extra sleep. I felt like I needed to rest. And in our society, it's so easy to feel um, like we feel guilty for taking time. This morning I felt as, and this was the dilemma, and I use my own experience, um, so how you can relate to this to demonstrate that I too am feeling this. I'm sharing this because of that as part of our soul vlog and, and the guidance that come through I'll share. So I was freaking out a little bit because I've taken on a um, another service that I wanted to do, that I was inspired to do, and I'm getting... Um, energetically a good feeling about it vibe but it was out of my comfort zone I've put myself forward I'm working in a small team um, and we're working for voluntary and and then part of the um, ego self that come up and come forward was like was berating the self of Tracer you're giving again and you meant to be working on receiving and <laughs> which is obviously giving comes naturally um, and then straight away but your time you've got so much that you're doing and you're feeling this like overwhelm at the moment um, I literally do have loads that needs to be done in the next few weeks and then I was feeling that sense of um, of timeless like of, of of not enoughness and again it's the resistance and coming up but this allowed me, this is what shifted and this is what we can tune into this subtle shift of how before we may have dealt with stuff. I went into, and I haven't for years had a panic attack about stuff. Um, so the first time I had to do something for this, I completely, um, I was, I couldn't connect to higher self. I was completely out of tune. I was going through the processes I tell you and, and finally, it shook, I shook, and it. I realised, because I wasn't in tune, I, not only was it the, the little bit of ego that was kind of connecting to all my doubts that were coming up, that not good enough, that imposter syndrome, the um, not knowing what, the indecisiveness, all of these things, all my old previous patterns, but also I was actually tuned more into 3D and the energy of fear and this, I've been telling you about this uh, root chakra of all of the time, all of those things that are showing up. Um, and I had taken that energy and projected it on my own situation. I'd allowed that frequency. So I was tuned in, but not to my higher conscious self. I was tuned into the collective fear and oh, it wasn't very nice. <laughs> I, I have to say it wasn't a nice experience, but it was certainly a growing healing Chiron experience, which I know we're being asked to deal with. So it allowed me to help clear that for the collective by clearing that for myself um, and working through that. And I did do that and I, went past my comfort zones with things um, and shifted my perspective on what and why, the what, when, why, who. Um, and it, it's felt good, but it's brought up some other things in my life of daily practices, daily routines, things that I need to work on. And it's about 
looking into the self. When we start to, what I've been asking you to do with this observing and connecting, and this is why I felt it was important to share, when we start to go in, and I've, as I said, I've done this for years, so the, the fact that I flared up in such a flight or flight anxious for me is very out of character these days, but I believe that my higher self allowed that to happen because I needed to know and remind myself the contrast of here and here and actually so that I am moving that set point, it's moved again. Um, the goalposts keep moving. The change is the inevitability. The change and the constant is the change. So you need to allow to integrate those shifts and that energy. You need to have rest, restoration. Rest and restoration is to restore you to your balance, restore you to your levels, because the levels are constantly moving. The, the wheel is constantly, so that's why sometimes you need longer than others. So that what that looks in 3D world might mean you saying, when you still wanna show up for people, is possibly like me saying to my Qigong members on Friday, I'm not gonna be here this morning, here's yesterday's recording, um, or do the pinned workout. I need to have a little bit more sleep. I was still awake, um, but I was resting and I was showing up for myself. And this Saturday, this had come up again and I realized now because I, I'd seen what had happened, I'd done the releasing and grounding, which um, the challenge I've put for you this month on my page is practice grounding peace. And what I mean by that is we do need to practice this one. You're going to need to practice things that you were doing before may not be working in the same way. You ha have to, in law of increments, um, shift subtly, tune to your own frequency of what is your authentic you and what is authentic for you in your life and showing up in that for all levels. And you've got to make sure Lee Harris is constantly saying this and I need to bless him because I love um, him. I had to, my guidance told me, because I follow loves, loads of other channelers and listening to them, sparks like a mirror in me, like with Matthias, um, a remembering and brings through my own um, soul knowledge. Um, and he is always saying, self-care is essential, okay? And it is, it really is, I mean, it's on even the little things. So for me this morning, I felt like a little bit of overwhelm because I'm, putting in this extra work um, and I still want to be able to do that but I had a lay in this morning it's Saturday morning I get up at six I'm live by 6 30 a.m in our morning Qigong group so I wanted to have a lay in I woke up later but that meant later meant in some way that I didn't have that hour of what we do in the mornings and part of what I do and why I do the morning Qigong sessions um the link uh, for in the telegram group is that we spend an hour moving the body but we're breathing in rhythmic breathing and focus but we're also saying our daily affirmations so all the things that i need to do for me i'm doing with you guys but i'm also doing it on a daily what's what's energetically what are we needing right now um or in those those few days so it's also in tune with the season seasons and because i hadn't done that and I knew I had company coming shortly. I also had to get back to lots of people and needing my intention. So I was feeling like lots was going out, but I wasn't allowing the receiving to come in. And I was berating myself. It felt in some way like I had to choose between having a lay in or getting up to have those and do those practices and processes and tools that I felt like they help me through my day. And beautiful synchronicity of the universe, this post had come up. Um, I've shared it on my Instagram. I think it's Ancient Life, um, their post. And the word that has stuck is that rest and restoration. We need that. You need that to so let go, Teresa, let go. And I'm telling you too and reminding myself, let go of the guilt because we feel such guilt, even I do, when we take time for ourselves. And 
I realised I've been slower at doing things and there's certain things for me, for example, writing emails takes me longer, responding to comments takes me longer. So please bear in mind, as like, it's just me, I don't have a team, not in physical anyway, I have a team of the universe, of my higher self, um, that remind me, and I wanted to share while I was still feeling this sort of raw feeling of the emotion of this understanding of the sense of releasing, wanting to cry, but not in a sadness way of it's okay to get a little bit tearful and fr that frustration to, to show up because that release is fine. It's part of letting go and it's good to do around this time just before the full moon. And um, also it's okay to go a bit slower and not to berate ourselves. to teach myself in speaking with kinder words and the words and language I was using, even in my own mind and thought process, which, which the observing and connecting challenge, the 30 day challenge, it's on this page, free, no leading helps with, which is why the guidance come through to do that. So I did it for myself. And obviously I haven't, I was recording the sessions, doing it with you and that I've stopped at the end of the 30 days. So retuning back into that when my alarm went off, um, doing it for longer helped me. I think there are times when you need five minutes as opposed to the three, but whatever you can do is going to help release that in the body. And so because I'm sharing this, it's 10 minutes, just going to do a little bit of that now with what helped me when I was in real fight or flight is just shake, shaking out the nervous system. I did it to the beautiful um, Yak, Darling Yakold Khan soundtrack. I don't have permission for that, so I can't play it for you, but highly recommend it. Um, big fan, got to see him at um, Hay House. I can do it and love. So feeling, but if you feel the jingling, feel that beat of the drum, imagine drums beating with the slapping and releasing as well. Just shake and keep doing that for three minutes if you can. When you lift the arms up, we work on the lymphatic system literally just bouncing on the knees i'm wearing jeans it doesn't matter what you're wearing um the hands up and i will do my shigong this afternoon again but just doing this now like for a minute and that's what i needed i did that and then i walked away from the thing i was trying to do that had taken me five hours because i was trying to force things hard forcing doesn't create inspired action when we're taking action actually sometimes is the worst thing to do if you are not in a state of flow that potentially that five hours that i was trying to force things i should have just let it go and walked away and i knew that but as i said i hadn't been in this sort of state and i couldn't think because i wasn't thinking from my heart i was in the fight or flight and i know lots of people get like that and it's easy for me to say to do these things especially like I have these days too. So it's knowing and constantly reminding myself. As I thought, well, I've got up, I've done my Shigong, I've, but I was still feeling that immense fear energy in the world, magnified. And so where am I going with this? It's okay. It's okay if you are in that. It's okay if you are having that and you're feeling that because what cleared it, because somebody else, I guess, might have allowed that thought story or whatever the issue and the situation was to continue and that then they tell everybody and then that's what they're going on about and I'm doing in some ways telling you, but for a different reason because what I am really happy to tell you is I got through it and actually that cleared the emotion it cleared the energy energy emotion it's the chemicals um when we feel an emotion they are chemicals in our brain on a scientific um very physical biological way of thinking so you want to detox those chemicals it's what we get addicted to those chemicals of stress and your brain starts to expect them in a certain scenario so at 8 30 every day if you're used to being stuck in traffic and getting stressed 
at 8 30 at the weekends you might find around that time you are stressed because you create those naturally because your body creates what it needs that's why placebo and placebo work and how they work your body creates what it needs and it will create the chemicals that it's craving so you've got to flip that and how do you flip that reset the nervous system that's what we do in the shaking other ways that you reset your nervous system movement is great dance forms meditation allowing yourself to see what those systems are which is why i really felt like this challenge had to be out there now for people to do for you to allow that process and start to observe where they are. Because if you don't know that you're addicted at that time or that you're having those thoughts, then you are kind of on autopilot because the subconscious will keep playing and those recordings of what those patterns are for you. And you will keep dancing <laughs> like a, what are those little um, <sighs> puppet to your own thought practices that, it's not a bad thing, it's just set. You just want to program it to what you want it to be set at. So my love and my blessings in your now day, I'm going to go off and do what I needed to do without the guilt, knowing that I took the rest when I needed to, that I took time to restore myself to my access. Sometimes that's five minutes, sometimes that's five hours, sometimes it's a day, sometimes it's going away on holiday, depending on how we've ignored, how much we've pushed down and we need to allow to come up to the surface. And that's what happens during meditation. Those processes will come up to the surface. And, and that's why some people can't meditate because they say, I sit down and all these thoughts come up, which is what happens when you first start. And that's a good thing. You need to feel it to heal it. We've got a Chiron's helping us right now. So allow that help, that cosmic help. The cosmic weather is really going to help to um, let things go this moon. Um, maybe not as emotional as the Pisces moon we went through last month, but definitely it will show you where your chiggers for. Become the mirror in your life with reflecting back at you. So if you are being triggered, ask yourself why. Delve in as opposed to lashing out. Allow that fire to ignite your area as, um, for the next six months. So your fire, your belly, the passions to see why those passions are there? What is it about the situation that's firing you up? Because we, what we put out, we get back. And by resonance. So if there's something by resonance that you're not liking, how can you change that? How can you tune to a different resonance? My love, my blessings. Um, to help you with this there's if you don't already know there's a free challenge there's no buy this at the end of it um it's 30 days all the videos are on this same channel that you're viewing this um, my love and blessings i send a psychic hug this is another thing you can do and tap in here it's to add if you're not doing the shigong with us in the morning and um here massaging these little points just through your day, just add these little things can really help. My love and blessings. Take care. Have a wonderful weekend. I'm Teresa Jande. This is Love Authentic Me channel. Um, and again, as, the, as they say in Sanskrit, Namaste, the light in me bows to the light which is you. We are all divine, beautiful beings on a journey of learning. Allow everything in your life, even the crap, to be a learning process.